Hey guys, so I recently got a comment from this person here, essentially asking how to navigate files and just open up things and close them really fast without having to use a mouse a lot. Essentially a more like a keyboard driven approach to navigating your code. And so I thought I'd do a quick video here showing how I do that. So I, first thing, let's open up Vim. And the first thing I wanna show here is that in my dashboard I have this find file thing and I have this restore session thing. Both are really important to my flow. So it's very common that I open up new Vim and the first thing I do either F or S. So F to open up or telescope to search for whatever file I'm going want to go to or S to just open up whatever the last thing I was working on. So restoring the last session essentially. So let's close and open again and F and let's just go to telescope. So obviously I'm using NeoTree to kind of see this project structure. So space tab will open up this sidebar for me and shows me all my different files and project structure. And I sometimes use this, but I also have it mapped uh, in, a, in a, like a floating thing. So if I press space E, it opens up the same thing, just in a more like a float um, layout. This is really cool because I don't have to move my code anywhere. anywhere. It just opens up and then you can space E again, it goes away. It's really handy this way. And then uh, let's say I'm going to open up another file here, another buffer. Uh, one way I actually approach finding buffers or navigating buffers is, is by using telescope as well. So everything I do is really um, using telescope essentially. So space O will allow me to search for my open buffers. And I have, um, I believe, control X. Um, nope. Control D to remove the actual buffer. So that's how I do it. So open up again, let's say um, telescope, space O, I can navigate whatever buffers I'm working on. And then here, let's say I'm within this um, file here, telescope. So if I want to see the outline of the project, I, let's say this is a very long file, what I do is space P, and that allows me to see all the document symbols. So if you're in a Go project or like other programming languages, you can see even like, it'll be a bit more organized actually. So let's say, let's actually go to a Go project and here, here I have like a, some file and some, a test on the right side. So here, if I press space P, you see it shows me functions and I can quickly navigate to them. So imagine we have a very large file, that would be super handy. So that's how I navigate things. So another thing I have is this here um, on the top, which is like a breadcrumb and the way I set this up is by using these plugins. So I have this one coming from the Lunar Vim repo, and then I use this NVim Navic. So with both combined, I'm able to have this thing here. And this is also very useful. So if I'm somewhere in the code, imagine this was HTML or Go or whatever, um, it will show you specifically where you're at. So if you're working in some large function, this will tell you exactly where you're at when you go through it. And I don't like this sticky one. I know there's like a tree sitter plugin that just uh, keeps some sort of a line um, sticky here. I, I don't like that one. I actually like this better. It feels cleaner to me. And yeah, so that's how I navigate code. I pretty much use telescope to find buffers, to find files. And I have this breadcrumb to see where I'm at in the code. And then if I want to see the project structure, I usually press space E and space O for buffers, space P for outline, and that's pretty much it. So the other thing I do is, um, sometimes I like to hide Tmux just to stay super focused on the code. So what I do is I have a, a key map, which is prefix T will just hide Tmux for me. And then I know, for example, you know, prefix space will take me to a different um, pane or kind of tab thing in Tmux. So that's how I navigate it. I kind of know the shortcuts already, so prefix, B will take me to a different session. Prefix space will just allow me to toggle between different panes. So that's how I do it. And then if I want Tmax to show again, I can just press prefix T. So that's pretty much how I navigate my code. Um, I don't have any, like, um, I don't keep this open at all. Uh, I rarely use a split. I just keep it as one single thing in the middle. And the only exception would be if I'm, um, Let's just go here. If I'm in some project that has some tests, that would be the only exception where I have pretty much the test on the right side and the implementation on the left side. 
I actually have a um, I have a kind of a key map for that that I just created. I know there's some plugin for it, but essentially, if I press Control P, it will open up uh, the test for that specific file, and I have it only working for Go at the moment. That's how I navigate my code, pretty much. There's pretty much nothing else here um, worth mentioning. This is the plugin I use uh, to kind of restore the session. It's called Persistence uh, by Folky. And this is really awesome. So let's say I'm in here, a specific place here, and then I quit. If I open up them again, I can press S and I'm right back in where I was. And all the buffers are still open. This is really, really powerful. I use this a lot, actually. Especially because, like, the way I approach Tmux as well is uh, for every session, it presents a project for me. So every session is a single project, and every session will have multiple um, multiple panes, like those things, dot .files, whatever. And I always keep it that way. So it's easy for me to just get back to the same project and just press S, and I'm back to where I was. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to share. Hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.